Okay, two people work for printing press such as this. The first person is called the beater. The beater would get a dab of ink on one of these two hair and the other balls and literally beat them together. This would smooth the impurities out of the ink and give away to distribute the ink on the type ball at the same time. Ink is made from boiled linseed oil and lamp wax. Lamp wax being just a soot from chimneys and lamps. Now this would be the beater's job completely. The beater would be so covered with ink throughout the day that they didn't want him touching the paper and ruining it before it was ever printed upon. The paper is extremely expensive. You've seen how it was made. The second person was called the puller. The puller would take a piece of paper and place it under these pins called keepers. The keepers held the paper in place so it would stay roughly the same spot upon the page every time. We then fold the tympan on top of the paper. The tympan locks the paper down and protects the paper from any unwanted ink that the beater might have gotten on the furniture. The space is around the type. Fold the frisket on top of the type. The whole unit was then called a coffin. The coffin was pushed underneath the platen of the press. It's flat piece here. The puller would then pull on the bar, turning the screw, lowering the flat and onto the paper, pressing the paper onto the type, transferring the ink from the type to the paper, making the print. Good. Now we have to do this twice. Our plate is actually larger than our flattened, so one more time. Slide out the coffin. Put up the brisket. Making a print. This would later be hung up to dry. When the ink was dry, I could flip it over, over and literally pin on the other side of the page. The process of making a book took years.